Mm. All right. Welcome back. We're the Bourbon Junkies. He's Dan. I'm Sean. Hell yeah. Tonight, bottles. Total, Unbottled. Total wine. Unbottles. Yeah, I don't, we're doing two. This is a double review, which this we've never even done before. Gonna be a mistake is what I'm hearing. And probably. Yeah. We're gonna review Gray's, I didn't even read the names and, of these. As Triple I know, R? I yeah. call them different things. Yeah. We're gonna review Triple R and Gray's Town from Total Wine. Intro. Intro. Now, Ready? double bottle pop. Set. Oh my gosh, that was like when two people become <sighs> one. Okay. When they consummate a marriage. <clears throat> nope. <laughs> so, so I have two uh, uh, nope. engraved this blends. Is a no, terrible no. idea. Yeah. So the engraved blends will both have this, and the non-engraved blends will have okay. that. Your brain so, works so much different than mine. I was just gonna say, just give me one engraved, which I think actually works out the same way. Mm-hmm. That's exactly what my brain works like yours. I mean, you got slower. there eventually yep. is what I'll say. Okay. So Apparently I gave myself the worst pour ever of this. So I get one engraved, you get one non. Yep. That's what I was going to pitch, mm -hmm. which is interesting. Engraves red. Which is the triple R. The bond engraved. Straight rye whiskey. Is blue. So like we were talking about, we're going to go with triple R. These are from Total Wine. Matt from KDHD Whiskey. <laughs> Um, helped us get these up here. Thank you, buddy. Here, we should put those back up there. So there these are interesting, and we'll get into like where they're from in a little bit. Yeah. But, but these one are of them, total wine exclusives, right? They're total wine labeled whiskeys. Yeah. So um, only sold at Total Wine. So yeah, they're an exclusive. But you, they're you hear we're gonna get one of those in in Grand Rapids. Mm -hmm. It's so far away, but I'll go. I'll still go. Yeah, two hour drive. I'll yeah. still it's go. It's a four hour round trip. But you know what? Once in a while, it's closer than Kentucky. We'll so. Do <laughs> So one of these bottles, Triple R, straight curry whiskey, made, made, made at a minimum of three years. And then this is um, MGP distillate. Yep. And then Graystown, which is a double barrel is what they consider it, yep. but it's actually just, it's finished, it's finished whiskey and port. Yeah. I don't know if it's bourbon. I don't know if it's a burr rye that they finished. It's not no very, idea. very clear on there at all. But it's I will just not on tell there. you, that we're gonna do that one second. Smell them both. Which one's red? This one. No, no. Engraved Glen. I remember different, a little different here. Which one's red? As I look this at one. them, you literally point to that one. Okay, red, we're going engraved first then. Triple R, straight rye whiskey. Triple R. Hey, I have to talk about this before we move any further. Cornbread. Greatest labels in the game period. Hands They're really market. nice. This guy's literally fighting a boar with his bear in hands. This one's riding a is it the same guy? Different guy. This one doesn't same have a Same boar though. Yep. He That's conquered the boar. He's hunting the boar. Does he yep. have a machete? No machete. Just his bare hands. No, oh, that's fair. That's I guess they're boar shit. hands. That's <laughs> Zing. Nope. <laughs> I refuse to acknowledge that that happened. So, straight rye whiskey, three year old MGP, $35 bottle whiskey. Really? Is that yep. cheap? 35 bucks. It's got a little youth in the note. The use in the note, use in the nose. It got worse the second <laughs> time. Help me. It got worse. <laughs> Doesn't even really get worse for you. Nope. Ah, um, try no. again. I go gingerbread cookie. I said cornbread. No. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Try again. Maybe like a sweet cornbread. Oh, for sure. Buttered sweet cornbread. Oh. Is there another yes. way to have cornbread? Because what, I think when I think sad. cornbread, you is just have it sad. It's just not it's just good. dry as fuck. You're just weeping. Oh. You know what's not good cornbread when you pick it up and it goes crumble. <laughs> yeah. And you're like, what was that? Sand? Yep. Gotta be nice and dense. Whole shit ton of butter. Okay, maybe honeyed cornbread. Okay. Black pepper. But is, what's the spot? Yeah, there's this, the problem yeah. with the cornbread note is cornbread's sweet and not spicy. This is spicy. Oh, <gasps> it's cornbread with a jalapeno in it. You ever okay. had jalapeno cornbread? I have. It's fantastic too. I wouldn't say it, it smells like jalapenos. I would actually say it smells exactly like jalapeno cornbread now. I'm gonna go for it. Black I'm pepper. I'm sticking to it. And that's the dumbest note ever. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's spicier than I thought it was gonna be. Let mm. me bask inside of it for a moment. I'm gonna have to go back at that again. It's super flat up front. Um, I don't know if I agree with that. It's kind of, it's a little buttery, little, little bit of oil in there, but I, I just don't get crazy flavor, I think, out of the front end. Mm hmm Dill pickle. I'm gonna try that On again. On the front of the palate, a slight amount of dill, 
Not real dilly, tiny dill. Little baby pickle. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Do you get the gingerbread, cinnamon gingerbread cookie on the back of the palette though? Man. It's like that sweet cinnamon spice. There's a weird, weird note in the middle and I'm trying to place it. That is seaweed from, no. Nope. Have you ever, yes. like nope. the seaweed wrapper yeah. on sushi? Yeah, no. Nope. It's got that little bit. Nope. It's that uh, umami oh. flavor. No, umami's what? Yeah. You just said very different things. I don't know. Umami yeah. is beans. No. Is that edamame? Yep. Damn it. You know it's, what? It's, it's semi-earthy. It's super chill. A little. Herbal. That's the note, dude. It's a happiness between a spice and an earth note. It's not mossy forest floor. No. Right? But it's not straight. Dude, the cornbread doesn't come through on the palate at all, which is nope. weird. None. There's almost zero sweetness. In and this. no honey mm -mm. on the palate. Mm -mm. I would say it's starting to smell more like tobacco or leather to me, one of those two. Mm -hmm. The more I drink it. It smells, you know, that earthy note. It's, I'm kind of falling between spicy earth, herbal and earth. Yeah. If the herbal note had baking like, spices, in I it. would say exactly like a seaweed wrapper. Adamame. Yeah. No, that's nope, nope, nope. I did nope. that just to see where we went. All right. Yeah. What? Well, this smells amazing. Did you smell the blue one? Yeah. Can I smell yours? I just mm -hmm. want to make sure it's not a glass problem. A dirty glass again. That was in the dishwasher, and you saw with your own eyes. Okay. No. What? All right. What's up? Can with we it? talk about where these came from? Because this is my hopes were high. <clears throat> Redwood Empire. They what? come from Redwood Empire. Yeah. These are both made by Redwood. But they don't say that. No, they're total wine. They're white yeah. label total wines. I think Redwood um, sourced the whiskey, or or I mean, it's so they're MGP. But the MGP comes from Redwood. So. Okay. I think I know why you don't like it. Yeah. It's, There's like it's a so... soapy note in there. Mm. No? What do you think? Black leather? Soapy, dude. I don't, I don't know how to put it. You don't it. get that farmy, black leathery note? Not as bad as you do, apparently. Like, there's a, a hint of, er, like, that mm. farmy hayness to it, mm -hmm. but I, I I think I get more like a soapiness to it. Like, you take a bunch of that really thick lather, sure. and you're just like, soap. You know what, honestly, I'm gonna be honest. This is the double barrel, mind you. We're drinking Gray's Town now. Oh, that's empty as hell. It's finished, they're both $35 bottles of whiskey. So we can't expect the world of them. I think wife's here. I would imagine that's her car. Okay, um, well, we're about to die. We'll find out. Yeah, well, I doubt it. So this smells better now that it took a minute. You know what yeah. I'm getting now? Wait. Citrus. Maybe that was it. I get more citrus now. I still get a little farm note. I'm gonna call it saddle leather. Maybe, I don't know, maybe running these back to back to back ones the best idea. It's I'm a gonna little... compare this to Triple R real quick, just for funsies. Emerald Giant is also made by Redwood Empire. I get a little bit of grape Kool-Aid on there now. Um, this is a $30 bottle um, in some stores in 40 in other states, depending on where you're at. This is MGP Distillate and their own distillate blended. And this is the comparison to this. They're both Rise. This is MGP only. This is MGP and Redwood product. So, Emerald Giant. Like, oh! My gosh. Okay. So I, I still get that little bit of carry through in the, the grape Kool-Aid. Okay. It feels so flat though. Did you say grape Kool-Aid at some point? Yeah. I was just not. Yeah. Okay. I said now that I've. I believe you. I've, I go, mm. gave it a little sniff or sniff. I get a little grape Kool-Aid. Can I change your life? Go ahead. And for the, this time for the better. You gave me that? Smell that. Smell. What? What? Goodbye, Triple R and Graystown. That smells incredible. Let me smell that after you're done smelling it. I gotta smell it again. It's amazing. I'll bottle try. I don't even give a shit. You're dead to me. <laughs> I'm just gonna smell over your shoulder. Just whiffs. All right. This smells amazing now. The Emerald Giant does. And I had the Emerald Giant as a warm up whiskey for this video. The the farmy hay note sticks mm -hmm. out like a sore thumb coming back off of the, the Redwood. Okay, the Emerald Giant's calmer up front, but it's not spiky. This is really spiky comparatively. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's not bad. It's not great. 
Okay, let's grade these. Emerald Giant, A+, plus. that's a 30 to 40 dollar bottle. These at 35. Let's go triple R first. Uh, C plus. I'm gonna be honest, I'm a little let down by these. We'll try that again. I'm gonna give it a C plus. Okay, is this, is triple R engraved? Yeah. Okay. Okay, it smells more gummy, like a spearmint gum. Now, the triple R does. That's not bad. That's a nice little everyday -er. I could drink that, 35 bucks, C plus. You know what, this is gonna upset people. You get a, they get a third of a grade, right? There's three, minus, middle, up plus. Yep. They get a bump by one third for the labels. Mm. Easily for me. Easily. I'm gonna still be at a C plus. On this one? Yeah. I'm gonna go on that C plus. Whiskey, C, whiskey yeah. plus bottle, C plus. I'll give you that. Graystown, I'm gonna go back one more time before I give my final grade, $35 bottle of whiskey, and we like finished pour stuff. D minus? Here's what I will say. Can we give it, can I give it a little bit of credit before I say how much I'm not a huge fan? Name a bottle of whiskey that's finished for anywhere near that price. Angels is the cheapest yeah. I can think of. Which is 60. And that's 55 or 60. So. Finished whiskey is expensive, but I don't think you're getting the finished whiskey experience with this bottle. Like you're not really getting any of the, the port wine in there. You, like I said, oh. I get a tiny amount of grape, like Kool-Aid. If you smell it now sweet. and think cask, like a port cask, it comes through a little bit on the nose. Doesn't follow through a whole bunch on the palate, but they're low proof. 90? You can buy, oh man. You know what I would buy over these? Redwoods products, personally. Mm -hmm. I'd buy Lost Monarch mm -hmm. or Pipe Dream, honestly, either one. And then I would buy Emerald Giant before I bought Triple R. I mean, it I'm has, down, it has the whisper of a finish on there. Small amount. This but it doesn't really stand out in any way, shape, or form. Now it's finished burr rye. I would guarantee that in a blind, I would never guess that as a finished whiskey. Not you know what this kind of gives credit to? How good Redwood is at blending. Yeah. Because Redwood's products, Lost Monarch, this, and Pipe Dream are all blended by Redwood with yeah. their distillate, and these are just MGP. Yeah. Redwood's master blender is a mother effort. All right, yeah, and now we're back. Same. But what's yeah. your grade on that? Redwood's I'm Master sticking Blender. D minus. Redwood's Master Blender, A plus. Yep. This bottle of whiskey. You say D minus? Yeah. I don't. I, I would rather. I would rather. I'd rather buy this though. No, when's the last time we had a D minus? What'd you give Old Tub? Not a D minus. Like a C minus, I think. I just. I it's don't. Thirty five dollars. You want to know what's there's better? There's. I don't. I. I'm gonna just sit here and say, I died it over and over again. I can't find a redeeming quality They're better together. to say why to buy this. D. It's not. Flat D. Yeah, flat. One, Great description I for gave that it, I gave it a, I gave it a one third bump due what to label. What did you put in this? I blended them. But it's more of this than it is. It's more of a triple R. All right. It smells way more. Buy like, Redwood Empire's products, personally right. for us. We both agree. Lost Monarch, Pipe Dream, and Emerald Giant. And even at the 40 to $42 price range that they are in Michigan. I would buy all three of those before I bought either of these. That's what I would say. Yeah. It's really flat, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Just, they're just, yeah. if you like, you know what? This is blended together. Really good beginner whiskey. Yeah. Nice low proof, not offensive. Other than that, I don't, I, I got nothing junkies. for you. Proof's in the poor, like, comment, Check things subscribe. Out. I'm fine. so Whatever. sad. <laughs> I am so sad right now. Ugh.